Hey, it's Kim. These are a few of my hypertufas waiting to be planted. These are the long ones that I made in that earlier film. They've been drilled, have their holes all ready and waiting. And this is the basket one. You can see how nice it turned out. I've got the large holes drained in it, so we'll have some real good drainage. And then the smaller ice cream dishes. This particular metal bowl is a discard. Metal just does not work to form the hypertufas. And I have all of these smaller ones that are waiting to be planted. Most of these are butter dishes, etc. This was a tiny, I think that's a, the parquet, the ones that are in little square dishes. That one turned out pretty nice. And of course the big tub ones that I have. Um, a small cypress, weeping cypress in. I'll have to look that up to see what that is. And of course my waiting cement mixer. Waiting for some warm weather. We're getting some decent weather here today. And this is the draped hypertufer pot that I started with. He's doing pretty good. He has held up in the snow that we've had. And you can see how nice and hard this one has gotten. I drilled it. You can see the holes in it. I drilled five in there so it'll have good drainage because this will not be porous like regular hypertufa. But I think it's turned out real nice. You can hear it. It's as solid as a rock. But there's that one wait, waiting to be planted. And then the little greenhouse that I have. It's just the zipper door. with all the different things inside. I don't have a whole lot in the greenhouse. And a lot of these do not need to be in the greenhouse. I just put them out here for storage purposes. I've got a Mexican heather. Love those. It's a really nice plant that'll bloom all the way into November. And then these are the ones waiting for the plant sale. We use a little piece of window blind to write on what they are. This is the uh, Silver Mound Artemisia. It's growing real well. And the um, Campanula is not doing very well. I'm not real sure what's wrong with it. I don't think it would be harmed by the cold weather unless it's just the stress of being moved so many times. And this was my um, Sedum Sea Urchin that you've identified for me and I've got it in my one of my tufa pots and it's doing real well the donkey tail seedlings some of them I've brought out just to see how they would fare they're no worse for the wear they look like they're doing just fine don't see any damage from the cold weather got a lot of little beans and then the bigger hens and chicks which again don't really need to be in here and the uh, tricolor, another one of the, uh, the cobweb le house leeks, and a delosperma. But that's basically it in my little greenhouse. We'll call it a greenhouse for lack of a better name, but that's it. It's got three shelves, not strong and sturdy, but we'll make improvements each year as we set that up, I hope. Thanks a lot.